Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Benjamin Magnus Plays Rule the Waves. Last episode, we concluded our war with the United Kingdom by convoy through through convoy raiding and uh, internal uh, disputes. Basically, they were winning basically just because they had fucking way more ships than us, just way more ships than us. But uh, my my scrappy fleet of convoy raiders were able to do the trick, and we uh, we forced them to the peace table. Torpedo, a torpedo aiming system, 5% increase in su submarine reliability. Uh, what I what I really need to do is finish the Sergei and go through a a program. I mean, it's 1907. Um, the Straders finished her working up. The resolution. So the British are starting to uh, redoubtable. Oh, God, God damn it. The British are just building battleship after battleship. Ooh. Light forces and torpedo warfare. Destroyers up to 900 tons displacement. I like that. And TNT bursting charges. Uh, we need to finish the Sergei, and we need to go through a program of upgrade for our ships. Well, we need new destroyers. Kaiser floats the idea of a shooting competition for all the ships in the Navy. He believes this will increase morale and combat readiness in the fleet. Holding such a competition uh, will substantially increase maintenance costs this month. An excellent idea, I think. And the Freya, which is my heavy cruiser with the, the central firing computer, uh, wins the shooting competition. Improved hoist, gradual uh, national rate of fire improvement. Very nice. Ah, oh, and we have access to 12-inch guns of quality zero now, which is basically just standard. Great Britain in there. Every single pop-up. Should say the kind of authorized increased funding for the Navy. And uh, unexpected advances in fire control. Nine-foot rangefinder. British just keep laying down more battle cruisers, battleships, stolen technology in the fire. Ooh, yeah, let's increase uh, tensions over there. Actually, let's let's do this. High intelligence over there. Rebellions broken out in the Falcons. Uh, there's been in internal upheaval in Libya. Send a f uh, expeditionary force to restore order. There's a chance they take over the colony. Uh, I don't give a shit about what Italy thinks. So send a force. Ha ha! We gained control over Libya. Tripoli, Benghazi, and Tobruk. We oh, now we have um, holdings in the Mediterranean that could prove problematic in the future. Let's see. Offering to build another unit of Sergei class battleships in twenty-seven months at a ten percent total price. Let's get. Let's lay it down. And uh, let's see. The freedom of the seas is threatened by Russia. God damn it. Um, sorry, but you, we need a halt construction of you. The Sergei is commissioned into the Navy. In, in the, into the Navy? Into the Navy. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to upgrade our light cruisers. So we're going to open design for rebuild. We are going to replace their machinery, which is going to save us a few hundred tons. Which I like. Uh, you could do s some things you can do when you're rebuilding. Some things you can't. You can't change their armor. Um, if you want to change the guns, you can. You could put like smaller guns. And uh, if you want to, uh, smaller guns. If you want to increase the number or let, like, if you have a, a double turret and you want to go to a larger caliber gun, you have to have one of them. If you have a double turret and you want to go to a, a smaller caliber, I think you could have three like that. Um, we might be able to put mines on these now. Yes, we can. Uh, has not researched mine rails for light cruisers. Never mind. Cannot do that. Uh, but we can upgrade these, uh, firing computer, which is very good. And we might want to put some tertiary guns on this thing, or we could try to increase its speed. We can make these things two knots faster and give them better. Okay, that's what we're going to do. We're going to, okay, we're going to save this. Uh, yeah, the 1908 model, and we're going to rebuild it to the 1908 model. It'll monthly cost 10 months. It'll take 10, 10 months and a million dollars a month. God damn it. That was a lot more expensive than I expected, but we need to do more of these too. Um, so refit. Rebuild ship. Okay. Let's, let's start doing these. Triple turrets. Yes. I will buy triple turrets from the Japanese. Hedenin, contra-rotating propellers, that's sad. Anti-submarine nets, that's good. Our, ship, our, our, our fleet is very small, but it's, it's scrappy. 
It's a scrappy fleet. Sergei's finished her workings up. One of her agents has been caught in Great Britain, denying any involvement. Um, the Kowalski and the Brandenburg are going into mothball now. Sorry, Kowalski. Need to save the money. Now the United States wants to buy them. Yes, by all means. So that only cost us, uh, Falcons are independent now, uh, uh, half a million dollars. Uh, as returned from a state visit to Russia, bringing home a proposal of solving outstanding sources of tension between our nation. We never trust the Russians. I'm actually, I keep trying to poke the Russians. I, I have fun fighting them. Light cruiser armor configuration. What is that? Research breakthrough light, uh, light ship design, light cruiser armor configuration. Enables light cruiser armor configuration. I'm not sure what that means. Uh, light cruiser, the gazelle, rebuild. I'm going to start rebuilding all these light cruisers. I'm a little surprised it takes 10 months to do that. I mean, all we're doing is replacing the... Oh, we replaced all the machinery. That's that's part of it. It's got, So they're, they're getting all new engines. What is an economizer? Weight saving on machinery. Crop some, uh, cemented armor. Unexpected advances in hull construction. Improved weight control. Nice. Diesel engines on my subs. Reliability goes up. Dis Ooh, destroyer screen. Enables screen formation for destroyers. Yes. That is very good. And how much longer until the first rebuild is done? Five months. Fuck me. New government wants to reduce naval spending in favor of social programs. Get the... Oof. Protest against it, yeah. Mechanical firing a control computer. I, I need to build more des uh, better destroyers. Finish your reconstruction. Excellent. France, I'd fight France. I would fight France. Uh, okay, so, huh? Should we keep reconstru Should we keep the reconstruction of our of these guys going? Yeah, let's rebuild. Oh wait, oh that that oh, that one's already been rebuilt. Rebuild this ship. Makes them faster, faster, and they'll be able to hit better. Finished a reconstruction. Wonderful. Just gonna keep going through these. Rebuild ship. Yes. Okay. With the uh, threat from Russia, Russia rising, the Hawk Party manages to pass a bill authorizing additional funding for the Navy. Yep. Enables oil firing. If has oh, we just figured out how oil engines work. Do we have access to oil though? Does it tell us in here? I don't think so. And my total budget's lower than it was before. Blech. I don't think we have any oil. Libya doesn't have oil. And all of our other possessions are over here. Well, we got we got this one. Oil, no. Oil, no. Oil, no. 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 Do we get it from America? If we're we're, we're friendly from them, I'm wondering. I don't think so. Well, we could always do this. Oil. It'll tell me if I if I don't have access to oil. Illegal ship configuration. Just fucking do something for me. You cannot build oil fueled ships as you have no access to oil. So I can. So I have the technology. Um, to thank them, but no, we don't. We can't afford another Sergey right now. Sorry. There's been a political murder in the Balkans. Yeah, let's go to war. Contra rotating propellers on torpedoes, so we have better torpedoes now. I want to go to... I, I really want to go to war with, with fucking Russia. I want to fight Russia. We could probably stand to rebuild... Once we're done rebuilding the light cruisers, we should rebuild the battleships. Get them uh, working a little better. Uh, rebuild ship. Yes. And then rebuild ship. Yes, okay. Under construction. So we've got all these guys rebuilding right now. Security arrangement has expired. So we're not we're not allied with the US anymore. It's a shame. Unless we back down, there will likely be war. If they want to fight, we're ready for them. 
All right, let's go. All right, now we're going to war with Russia again. All right, see, this is what I was looking forward to, is a, is, is a good fight with Russia now that we have slightly better ships. And this is the straighter. You guys are in for it. All right, so let's see. Destroyers, you're going to be screening. You're on screen. You are going to go on scout, and I'm going to take personal control of the straighter. I cannot wait to get this fucker into battle. The guns on this thing. Jesus Christ. 18,000 ton armored cruiser. And there's a gazelle. The, the gazelle is out there too. So let's let's increase our speed here and hit play. See now, see this is a this is just a stumbling on each other battle. So nothing might come of this, but we're gonna we're gonna go straight down their gullet here and see if we can't find somebody. Ah, a known ship sighted. All right, let's let's bring this up. All right, we got two where they're identified as a heavy cruiser. I see three ships. Four ships. I mean, they're not... I'm a little surprised they're not... I mean, this is prob This might just be a light cruiser. Or it could be a battleship. No, that's actually... It's a heavy cruiser and destroyers. Okay, so... Uh, their heavy... Sh their, their, their ship... Let's see, their heavy cruiser. Four 10-inch guns. Eight 6-inch guns. Ten 3-inch guns. But the straighter has eight 10-inch guns, 12 9-inch guns, and 24 3 This thing is just bristling with weapons. And this is his firing range. My, look at my torpedo firing range, by the way. Oh, I don't have torpedoes on, these guy, on this guy. It's, he's he's kind of zippy, too, for a ship of 18,000 tons. Okay. I really want to get this... I, I want to get up close and personal with Strader here. Right up in their grill. I mean, these destroyers, they want to come near me. There's 12, 12, 7, basically, what, it was 3 inch, like 75 millimeters. There's all those things all over the place. So let's just uh, go. Yeah, he's he's running, running home. I, looked, I thought he was at least. All right, let's uh, close the distance a little. All right, hit, it, hit a destroyer. Really hoping to hit this guy. So no... Okay, we're getting closer. What's the range now? Yeah, focus fire on their heavy cruiser. I gotta make sure that they don't get with the, that they don't hit me with a fucking torpedo. Straighter hitting the T turret. Uh, I wish they were labeled. And you gotta remember, this is not an accurate representation of where the guns are. I actually think you can. Can you, can you pop up? What is this? Uh, there's a little button. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Little enlarged. Straighter hit in the T-turret again. All right. Straighter hit. Critical critical hit. Fire control damaged. Fuck you. Are you kidding me? Hit the fire control system right off the bat. Ah, oh, screw you. Screw you, Russia. Barely did any damage, but they hit the goddamn fire control computer. All right, hitting him with the nine inch, uh, the nine inch guns. Yeah, he's taking a beating now. Seven ten inch guns. That's, that's what you gotta. Don't forget the the primary guns are ten inch. The secondary battery battery is nine inch. The secondary battery is probably it, you know on the whole stronger than the um hitting the T turret again. Jesus Christ, stronger than the the primary secondary is. I'm surprised we're getting hits. It still. Oh, four hits. Two 10-inch rounds hit that guy, and two 9-inch rounds. So he just took up, just pummeling in that minute. All right. 10-inch guns. Still only on light damage, but he's slowed. Three more hits. Splinters damage the hull of the straighters. We should probably have some flooding now. Ah, it's not that bad. Damage is, uh, I mean, he we're, he's slowed down a good deal, but look at that, that destroyer flying in like that. Okay, I don't want them getting too close to me, so we're going to have to pull off here to the side. And 
I'm gonna juke back this way. Justin, I don't think he was in torpedo range, but he might have been. Straighter hitting the T turret. That must be the front turret. That must be. That's got to be the T turret. If 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 it's constantly getting hit that much. Well, it looks like they found another uh, some some friends. That guy's bristling. I would love to sink some of their de fucking destroyers that are just flying around like this. We're hitting them. I just want to make sure that, because we're not going to see their torpedoes. We just have to assume, based on their their movement patterns, that maybe they launched one. I mean, we've, we've beat the hell out of a bunch of their destroyers, but I was really hoping to sink one of those heavy cruisers. Oh, we sank one. The fact that they hit my fire control computer right in the beginning of the match, that bums me out. Because right. that means my, my guns aren't firing nearly as accurate as they were before. This guy's on fire. Oh, no, he's not on fire, but he's heavily damaged. V4 hit, critical hit to the machinery for one of my destroyers. Uh, not... Oh, we got a couple hits in on this guy. Not super concerned with my destroyers. Um, these are pretty obsolete as it is, and I was just saying that I needed to build new ones, but... Ooh, yeah, we're getting hits in on Hugh now. Oh, yes! We knocked out one of his turrets. He lost two half of his 8-inch guns. Medium merchant hit. There's merchants out here? Oh, yeah, there we go. Why are you firing on the goddamn merchant in there? I mean, I'm fine with that. This is the... This is the first battle of the war. And, I mean, the straighter is... Is it like a one-man army here? This is this is what he's for. This is what he's built for. Is basically... I'm, I'm saying... I say operating alone. He's not operating alone, but it's damn near close to alone. He's just got his destroyer escorts. I'm trying to... I want to get in here and sink that, uh... Objective sink two enemy ships. Okay, we must have sank that destroyer. I want to sink this transport ship. Oh, fuck! Where'd that come from? Oh, no! He was hit by a torpedo from where? Oh, son of a bitch. He's probably going to sink. Limits flooding. I don't know where the fuck that came from, but... This V3 is launching torpedoes. Oh, at the transport. Alright, we sunk the enemy transport with a torpedo. Oh, no! He, even if... He's not... He might not sink, but he's gonna be out of action for a while. That came out of nowhere! Alright, well... Meet another transport? Oh, it's, it didn't sink. We just got, we got to get out of here and hope for the best. Oh, he's slowing down. Uh, it looks like the flooding is okay. Limits flooding, limits flooding, limits flooding, limits flooding, limits flooding. And he was, he was not at order answering commands because the rudder was damaged. Torpedo engine room hit, rudder damaged. Fuck me. God damn it. That's gonna, that hurts. As long as he doesn't sink, and we can limp away from this. Oh, we're, I was being so careful, too. I was like, oh, they're, they're doing this, so I got to do this, and they're doing that, so I got to do that. Oh, balls. And then just out of the, out of the darkness, the torpedo. Torpedoes are fucking deadly as shit now, because these ships don't have any torpedo defenses. But it looks like we're going to survive this. And we're going to limp home. Limited to eight, uh, eight knots, seven knots. That's bad. And what sucks is I have to wait to this thousand. And even then, they, they sometimes, heavily damaged ships don't make it home. I mean, he should make it home. 
And the only way to know is when you click on this button and see if it's sunk or heavily damaged. Heavily damaged, okay. So the straighter took a wild torpedo hit from the middle of nowhere. You know what sucks too is look at their points compared to my points. So they, they claim the Russians are claiming victory, but almost all of what they got from that was that one torpedo hit to the straighter. They lost two destroyers and a merchant ship. Heavily damaged a destroyer, medium damage to both heavy cruisers, light damage to two destroyers. I mean, I feel like I won that, but the straighter is, I mean, like, in, in the end, it was almost even. Um, Let's see, where's the straighter? He's going to be uh, in repa under repair for two months. So now we desperately need more ships. So activate these guys. Uh, need 15 ships on patrol, so that's 10 of these. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Uh, patrol, that should be enough. Nope, oh, that's too many. I counted that wrong. I guess I had uh, more of those than I thought. So active fleet. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, that sucked. That really sucked. Poor, poor, poor straighter. Alright, so um you guys are gonna be on convoy raiding. Um Raider. Okay. Unexpected advances in anti submarine tor uh technology. Our submarine U ten has torpedoed uh and sunk the Russian ship DD Bedovi. Okay, that's well, just a destroyer, but okay. Uh, we sank they sank four Russian ships and we lost a in, well, Russian submarines sink four of our ships and we lost and they lost a sub. Uh, Russian raiders sinks a German merchantman, and we've got a, a battle that I'm gonna go ahead and decline. I'm gonna give them those. That stolen technology and ship design from us, Italy. Uh, well, we can tell them to go fuk themselves. Oh, oh, we torpedoed and sunk a, a, a light cruiser. I will take that. Russian submarine sink two of our ships. And uh, this is a little scary, but I'm going to go ahead and accept this. And hopefully the straighter is back in here. Ah, yeah, he is. So this is the Sergei. God, look at the guns on these things. Look at the guns on these things. I mean, I like maxed them out. I don't know if they could, like, they could base it at the, at the time of construction. They basically couldn't carry more than that. Uh, and these are all independent. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the you on... AI, and you're set to follow the Sergei. The Strader is going to operate out there by himself for now. Here, let's uh, go up to 20. Repaired his damaged. Repaired his damage? Repaired his damage. The submarines we have out. And I mean, I don't see anything. And now he's back. Unknown ship sighted. Okay, so. Straighter, um, scout. How about... I'll leave him on scout. Okay, the Sergei. Go to max, please, and head towards the enemy. Put this on and tell this to run. Every time it spots another enemy ship, it's going to unpause. Oh, Straighter, I'm glad that you survived that. That was scary. Straighter fires a three-inch gun and hit him? Wow, that was a hell of a shot for a three-inch gun. The straighter... God damn it, the Sergei. Sergei, you were a beast. A beast of a ship. Look at those guns. Look at those guns. They're everywhere. 20, 24 9 inch guns as a secondary armament. What am I thinking? What did I put on it for tertiary? 24. Oh, God damn it. Okay, he's maxed out too. And these are my old ships. They'll, they'll do the trick for now. Okay, so now we got to go down this way. And we are in firing range. I think, at the moment, I have the upper hand here. Those might be battleships. They are. No hits yet. 
Well, there we go. What was that? Uh, six ten-inch gun. That was a ten-inch hit. Was ten-inch the primary caliber on Sergei? Eleven-inch. He's got eleven-inch guns. That's the biggest guns I have in the fleet. All right. So what are we fighting over here? What what do we what do these guys look like? So these these are the two. Well, we got three battleships. It looks like. Four 11-inch guns, 14 7-inch guns. Okay, I outgun him. Four 12-inch guns. So this guy has bigger guns than I do. So let's focus fire on you. All right, so we, we're switching. You can see we switched fire towards their battleships. And somebody's still hitting the heavy cruiser. God, the heavy cruiser is just taking most of the hits. Well, it's still only light damage. That guy I want dead. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna switch fire to the other, to the lo uh, not you, to you. And we're gonna turn this way and try to cut the heavy cruiser off from the rest of the fleet. This is gonna give give me an, a a not optimal firing position. Ah, they saw my maneuver. All right, so we're gonna move Brandenburg near miss. Uh, their other heavy cruiser took it. Well, what was that? Is that up here? Here it is. Took a hit from a nine inch gun. Oh god damn it, Sergey! Oh, already. Oh, every time they hit, like their first hits are just critical shots left and right. Engine room B, turret T disabled on Sergei. So, four, two of his 11-inch guns are disabled, and he's taken th took three heavy hits. 25% down. I see no damage in here. Sergei, critical hit. Oh, God, again? Oh, come on! Fucking hell, fucking twice! Sergey hitting the superstructure. Sergey hitting the. God damn it! What is going on here? All right, you, Sergey, you need to join the fucking. Uh, part. You're a little. Can I get, take control of you? Yes, I can. You need to fucking get in here. Squad Max has one or more core divisions following. Switches to independent. What? Okay. Kowalski took a hit. Sergey, poor man. 33% damage from five heavy hits. And they got hit in the goddamn... They knocked out his fire control. Same thing that happened to Strader. Kowalski hit, damaged the T turret. Alright. Four four-inch guns. Brandenburg has four-inch... I put four-inch guns on him? Oh, I guess I did. Oh, those four-inch guns aren't doing it. Aren't going to do anything. Now we're in a uh, a good position. We're going to cross the T here. Ooh. Nine seven-inch guns. Three hits on this guy. Was it that one? I think so. Or is it this one over here? Straders coming in the, uh, back here. Pepper him from a different, different area. Sergei's taking a beating. Sergey in your miss. Okay. The primary guns just aren't hitting. Hitting a destroyer. Sergey fires 10 3 inch guns and hit. Oh, so the secondary turrets, or the tertiary turrets, are firing up there. Okay, that was a 9 inch hit. This, these guys are basically getting chased now. Kowalski, what are you doing down here? All right, we're starting to get hits on them now. Near miss, torpedo tubes damaged by splinters. That's okay. Now we need a turn here. Straighter took a hit to the hull is what I just saw. What are you doing? You've broken away. 
I don't think straighter... Did I put torpedoes on you? you didn't, I didn't put torpedoes on this fucker. Okay, so you broke away. Sergey hit. God damn it, Sergey. You are taking a beating, and he start flooding a 56. What does that need to get to? So he's... he's t I don't know what that means. <laughs> he's taking a beating, though. Light damage. No damage. 15 knots. Light damage. Sergey, you are just taking... You're, you're, I mean, you're a champ. God damn it. I, I, the fact that my fire control... Straighter, I swear to God, if you take another torpedo hit, I'm gonna kill you. Alright, so we're starting to hit them pretty good now. This is the one I wanted to... F oh, heavy damage. We got, we got them good on that last round. Hit... Uh, two 11-inch hits, one 9-inch hit, so, yeah, he's, he's falling out of, uh, position now. Straighter, doing your job. If you could sink that destroyer, it would be ideal. Medium, Sergei's chasing down the straggler. I don't know what happened to this guy. He moved, like, away from the... Sergei's hit again. Looks like Sergei's slowing down. He's taken 17 hits. Can you go any faster? I really need you to go faster, dude. Is this guy slowing down? 10 knots. I think we must have damaged him. Destroyer hit. Sergey, just keep firing, keep firing. If we damaged any of their... If we could damage some of these 12-inch turrets, that'd be ideal, but I don't think we're going to. I think we're getting the upper hand here. I feel like I'm landing way more hits. 10-inch guns. Two 10-inch guns. 7-inch uh, guns fire and hit. Three 10-inch hits on this, this guy right here. No, that was a straighter. So that was right here. Oh, fuck. Torpedo. Torpedoes. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Eight 10 inch guns fired. One, two, three. Eight hit. T wow. Eight for eight. Just don't take a fucking hit straighter. Don't take a fucking torpedo. I was not paying attention. Oh, thank God. Thank freaking God. Okay. You guys need to disengage and come down this way. Sergey limits flooding. Why do you have flooding? He took a heavy hit, I guess. Pulled up next to this thing and fucking pummeled him. Brandenburg is not pulling off. You should be on AI control following Sergey. I mean, we are just beating this now that we've separated them out the sergey is just ravaging this one sank a destroyer it looks like i mean i would be happy with sinking one british or, or russian battleship here so we're gonna pull down on this guy here and just focus fire straighter doesn't have any torpedoes but the sergey does I don't know how to get him to fire them. Just tell him to pull up next to him and hope for the best. 50% ammo remaining. God damn it, this thing is just getting pummeled, heavily damaged, on fire. I think we got the upper hand here. The fact that Sergei took a hit to his damage control systems, or his uh, fire control systems, right away is annoys the bejesus out of me. Straighter, why don't you come down here and chase off the cruisers while Sergei and the Brandenburg circle around this absolutely burning hulk of a mess of a ship. At 
Did they turn back around? It doesn't look like they did. But we're going to have to leave this right here. I hope you have enjoyed, guys. This is one of the first battleship battles I've been able to show you. And we managed to separate out one of the Russian battleships and really pummel it. This turret's destroyed. This one's out of commission. I don't think any of the other turrets are firing. It's heavily damaged and on fire. I kind of want to make sure it's sunk before I leave, though. So if you have enjoyed, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.